Hello and welcome. My name is Nat Knight. I'm the publisher of Risk, and today we'll be discussing the latest developments in commodities trading systems. Thankfully, I'm joined by a leading expert in this area, Andre Yeager, Senior Vice President, OpenLink. Let me start off with some of the basics. What exactly are users looking for in a commodities trading system? Now, that actually depends on the industry, the, the business focus, as well as the, the market our clients are in. But we definitely see across those diverse uh, players in the market actually some common requirements to our solution and reasons why uh, the clients at the end selected an opening solution. Also, first of all, they're looking for integrated solution, integrated transaction life segment, front to back coverage mm -hmm. uh, across cross commodities at the end, uh, to avoid at the end some, some of the reconciliations that, that occur if you have multiple systems uh, and point solution. Um, then definitely they're, they're very pleased with the broad asset coverage at the end. We do from financial options, exotic ones to more complex physical delivery contracts. We cover that full range. At the end, they're looking for real-time capabilities on the risk management side, reporting side, that's scalable for their current business, but also it counts at the end for future growth that they see in the market. So it's very diverse, but there are some common requirements across the client base. Sure, and what other best practices are we seeing at the moment? Uh, some of the best practices we see at the moment are around bringing trading as well as the logistics closer to each other, to bring them close together, that we can have basically trading strategies that factor that logistics in and extract at the end more value out of, out of that additional flexibility. Mm -hmm. We definitely see some streamlining um, across the different trading desks that the companies are having. Everybody wants to move in a more enterprise-wide risk management approach, and for that it's very important that you that you at the end have a solution um, that is common across the different trading activity. In addition, uh, similar to what I mentioned earlier uh, around the uh, best of breed solution, as we actually see a move away from best of breed solution, we see that um, the clients want to reduce the amount of systems at the end that they have in their portfolio to reduce cost. Mm -hmm. um, and they're looking for an integrated solution that covers at the end their various activity from a trading perspective. Okay, and so one thing that's obviously you know the, the big elephant in the room is regulations shining a, a, a lot of light on risk management at the moment. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, regulation is, is definitely a key topic for a lot of our clients, as we have in the US Dodd Frank, we have in Europe EMEA Remit mm -hmm. regulations. It's mainly around financial commodity trading, um, around reporting, clearing requirements, and our clients at the end try to balance um, the need for a short-term solution to that works with their daily operations um, that meets the deadlines at the end that are very tight, but at the same time, they need a solution that is flexible enough to cope with some of the future upcoming regular changes that mm -hmm. will occur in the market without a doubt. We expect further changes to come further down the road, and you need to have a solution that is able to cope with that at the end. Sure. Maybe we could move a little bit on to logistics. I mean, obviously, commodities have to be moved around. I mean, tell me what's going on in this space at the moment. Um, as what I already mentioned earlier, it's definitely one of the trends to move the trading closer to the logistics to have that kind of a combined view and mm -hmm. kind of realize some additional value out of that flexibility that you have at the end in, in, in the logistics and the supply chain. The other thing what we're seeing is uh, the trend um, a little bit from, from the fact that we see a lot of players are moving further up and down the supply chain and invest in physical assets. So it's definitely the trend to kind of um, utilize additional optimization capabilities around that supply chain, uh, around portfolio management. So what is the routing uh, from a logistics perspective, how to utilize some of the flexibilities on those assets, try to understand what's the marginal cost of an additional unit on a production um, uh, asset at the end, and to utilize and extract that value that is embedded in that physical supply chain as well as in the physical assets. Mm -hmm. And, and what other areas are we seeing growth in in the market? Um, definitely, if we if we compare non-energy commodities as well as energy commodities, we see a bigger growth uh, on the enterprise risk management side for for non-energy commodities. I talked earlier about that strategic procurement approach. On the energy side itself, we definitely see a growth on the LNG side, as I talked earlier about that it, um, natural gas moves more and more into a, a global commodity. Mm -hmm. And we definitely see growth on the shale exploration side, and there especially on the crude side, because the prices compared to gas and power are actually fairly stable. So we definitely will see some additional players 
uh, producers as well as marketers to, to expand um, their, their production on the crude side and of course they need a related solution in, in that direction to support that business model. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Now, we've recently had the uh, risk technology rankings, and obviously um, OpenLink uh, won the best uh, commodities trading system for the second year in a row. Congratulations on that. Um, wh why do you think you've been recognized for that, and, and what, what can we expect from OpenLink going forward? It's definitely a great honor to, to, to be so high up in that ranking at the end. Mm -hmm. And I definitely would like to thank our clients to, to help us be up in that ranking because they're driving at the end our, our business with their requirements and we're working very closely with them to provide the solution to the market that they need. Um, what we're doing from a, from a forward-looking perspective is actually, I want to highlight three, three main areas. It's definitely we focus on regulation itself. Um, there will be more changes coming in the market. Um, and we definitely want to help our clients at the end to deal with the clearing requirements, position reporting requirements, as well as all the additional operational risk items. Um, we definitely want to further streamline and expand our asset coverage from a product perspective. Mm -hmm. um, there's always something we can do, some additional commodities, sure. some additional functionality is required, so there's constantly that we'll, we will invest in our solutions. Uh, and last but not least, from a risk management enterprise um, risk perspective, we definitely want to expand the coverage and the functionality we have, as well as integrate our solution further with business intelligence tool, as we definitely see a lot of value to make all that data that we have in the ETN system better accessible through BI tools with surf save service capabilities mm -hmm. at the end to provide even more decision support to our users at the end. Sure. Well, unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. Andre, thank you very much for coming in. That was a very interesting and useful insight into the world of commodity trading systems. I hope you, the audience, enjoyed it as well. Thank you.